Here we'll look at some of the different social behaviours of animals. We'll look specifically at social insects and also primates. Uh, within some animal groups, we'll have what we call a social hierarchy. So that's basically a rank order within the group. There'll be a leader, a dominant leader within the group, and um, that basically helps to reduce conflict within the group, um, allows them to work better. Um, it also ensures that that leader is passing on his genes to the next generation. So it fits in with natural selection, um, survival of the fittest, and the fittest then passing on their genes to the next generation. Cooperative hunting increases the chance of catching prey. So groups will hunt together, it increases their chances of catching prey, and also on an individual level, it means that they are expending less energy in doing that. Cooperative defense, the example of the meerkats, we've got more eyes then in the group looking out for predators. Um, so therefore, working together, they are also increasing their chances of survival. Uh, we'll look in a little bit more detail now at altruism. So altruistic behaviour is any sort of behaviour where an animal is uh, doing harm to itself for the benefit of another. Two types you need to know about. Reciprocal altruism. Um, uh, the, uh, a good example of that in the textbooks is the vampire bat. Um, they go hunting at night and if there are any bats that don't catch prey, then other bats will um, share some of, their, some of their prey with them. The idea being that later on, the, they will return the favour. So it's reciprocal in the, in the hope that both um, or all the bats will benefit at some point. Kin selection is where a relative is sacrificing itself for the benefit of, of another close relative. So we'll have a look now more specifically at social insects. Examples of social insects then, ants, termites, bees and wasps. And what's unique to social insects is that um, a few of them will be contributing reproductively. That's usually your queens and your drones. Most of the uh, social insects in the hive will be sterile and they will be the workers. So they will um, be looking after the hive or the colony and helping to raise uh, close relatives. Social insects are often economically important in pollination, if we think about bees, and ecologically important often as a keystone species. So a keystone species is one um, which is much more important uh, than any other species in an ecosystem, and if we were to remove them, it would have a more, uh, more dramatic effect than if we were, to move, we were to remove another species. Last thing we'll look at is primates. So some things common to all primates then, they will 
uh, look after their young for a long period of time. So there's a long period of parental care. Ritualistic display, they have learned certain rituals over a long period of time within their group, which has helped them to communicate and show emotion towards each other or intent towards each other. Um, within their social hierarchy, they try to increase their so social status by forming alliances. And one of the ways they can do this is by grooming each other. So that's why I've got monkey grooming there. Appeasement behaviour is a behaviour that an animal will carry out in order to prevent conflict with a more dominant animal. So they're trying to show that they um, are, they're trying to show respect to the more dominant animal by displaying uh, appeasement behaviour. Uh, this help, therefore helps to reduce um, tension between the animals, which is an important thing within the social hierarchy. Um, and another way that they can kind of um, show their intent is they primates will often use facial expressions and body posture to, uh, to communicate their intent. And all this, the S at the end is probably the most important, all this is bearing in mind that primates all, well, most often work in social hierarchies. So the rank order with a, mo with a more dominant leader um, within the group. The last thing I've just pointed out is that there are three main things that will affect how primates behave with each other and in their groups. That is the particular ecological niche that they're in, the availability of resources that there are, and the particular taxonomic group, so the particular type of primate that you're thinking about, whether that's um, gorillas, orangutans, humans, and um, that will have a significant effect on how they behave.